Hello friends, Osiris here and the next three seven star terror raid events have been announced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet along with a flurry of mass outbreak events that will be coinciding with these events happening over the summer. We're going to cover everything that has just been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in today's video. <laughs> So we've got a lot of news to cover in today's video and it covers the entire summer pretty much of terror raid events and mass outbreak events. If we jump over to X, we can see the update here from Cerebi who have put the first update out. The next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet terror raid battle and outbreak events have been announced. Seven Star Pikachu returns. So that was an event that we had in February 2023. We'll be making its return to Scarlet and Violet this coming week from the 12th. This event's running until the 25th of May. Alongside that, like we've mentioned, it will have outbreaks for Pikachu, Mimikyu, Raichu, Alolan, Raichu, and Pichu as well. So that is a very exciting event that will be happening. And for those of you who missed the first time around, you're going to have the chance to take part in this event. But that's not all because we do have another update as well. The next three outbreak and terror raid battle events have also been confirmed, including seven star Water Dondozo and Dragonite Raids. I'm assuming they are going to be Spotlight Terror Raids for Dragonite. And then alongside those, you're going to get Tatsuguri Outbreaks. And then the return of the Shiny Chest Form Gimme Ghoul, which we've had before as well. And the 7 Star Terror Raid event for Normal Dragonite. Now, if we head over to Cerebi, we can take a closer look at all of the details. So the next 7 Star Terror Raid Battle event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature the return of the water terror type Pikachu in seven star terror raid battles. Alongside this, a mass outbreak event will be available. This event has Pichu appear in Paldea, Pikachu and Mimikyu in Kitakami, and Raichu and Alolan Raichu in the Blueberry Academy with a higher chance of shinies. So that's good. So they're going to have that increased shiny rate for all of those Pikachu and Raichu, Pichu variants, as well as Mimikyu. Now this event, it does run starting later this week from the 12th of July and will run up until the 25th of July. So a two week period, this event will be running in our games. We've also had the Pikachu event run before, so that did run in February 2023. Um, and you can check out all the details here. So we will do an update video later this week, just going over the best builds because we know what to expect from this. And I think as well, they'll probably update the item drops as well to kind of put in the Mystica like we've had from more recent seven star terror raid events now on to the next announcement because we've had the other two seven star terror raid events kind of announced that'll be following the pikachu uh, and we can see the next batch of events have also been confirmed as part of the special summer four part raid and outbreak events so after the pikachu ends on the 25th from the 26th of July through till the 8th of August, the Water Terror type Dondozo will be in seven star terror raid battles while Tatsuguri Outbreak event will run. Curly form Tatsuguri in Paldea, Droopy form in Kitakami, and Stretchy form in the Blueberry Academy, with again increased shiny chances. So that is a very exciting event because that's going to be the first time we're going to get a seven star terror raid event or a Dondozo or any regular sort of Pokemon. I know we had the Iron Bundle, but it's more of a Paradox Pokemon and Pikachu's kind of the special Pokemon. So outside of the starter Pokemon, it's the first time we're going to get just kind of regular Pokemon appearing as a seven star Terror Raid Pokemon. Um, and then to celebrate the World Championships from the 9th of August through to the 22nd, Chest Form Gimme Ghoul will be in one to five star Terror Raid battles with its shiny been available in five star raid battles for the very first time that's kind of not true because we've had this event before um, and we did have the standard odds it was like one in 4096 chance of a shiny appearing in those five star terror raid events so it will be a second time out for this particular event but nonetheless it'll be a nice to see that one return so you have the opportunity to finally hunt for shiny gold Engo uh, from the chest form Outbreaks will run with the higher chance for the Pumped Mark. This features Wattrel in Paldea, Riolo in Kitakami, and Comfy in the Blueberry Academy. And finally, from August the 23rd through to September the 1st, a normal Terra type Dragonite will be the seven star Terra Raid battle. So alongside this, an outbreak event will run with both a higher shiny chance and chance to get the charismatic mark. This features Lavatar, my favorite, 
and Bagon in Paldea, Umi and Hisui in Sligu, that's very cool, in Kitakami, and Beldum in the Blueberry Academy. So some absolutely amazing events that we've got coming up in Pokemon Skull and Violet for over the summer. And it's nice to have them kind of all finally announced as well. So we know the exact schedule of everything that will be happening. First off, we're going to have the Pikachu that'll be this week for two weeks. Then we're going to have the Water 7 Star Terror Raid event for Dundozo. And then to finish it off, we will have that 7 Star Terror Raid event for Normal Type Dragonite, which is going to be so good. So I'm really looking forward to all of the 7 Star Terror Raid events. And then all of the Outbreak events on top of that. I think the one I'm really looking forward to is that Chess Form Gimme Ghoul. Uh, it is touted as having increased shiny chances, but I think if it's like the first time out, it will just be that base shiny chance that you're going to get. No multipliers in being able to increase the shiny odds for that, so it's still a very difficult shiny to come across, but you will have to go into five star raids for that one for the chance to get a shiny and um it's it's definitely going to be possible you're going to have two weeks to take part in that event for that particular one and of course as and when these events do go live and drop we'll update you on the channel so you don't miss any of them when they come up and of course we'll cover all of the best builds for the seven star terror raids as they come out so we'll start with the pikachu this week we've covered that before so we know the, the best builds for that one uh, the Dondozo is going to be a brand new one, so we'll be able to feature that. And then the Dragonite as well. So they're going to be exciting ones to kind of approach and get those best builds so we can solo them. Farm for Herbamistic and whatever other high cost items do come with it. So lots of news dropping this evening. Lots happening over the summer. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What you think of these events that are coming to Skull and Violet. I am very excited. It's nice to have the whole summer schedule kind of lined up so we know what to expect over the next couple of months. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this update video. If you have, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the update videos when they do come out. And uh, we'll wrap it up there, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch up with you in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.